this is your weekly trip to paradise, Louisiana style, with Gary Rasponi, Chef KD, and Lindsay Anderson. Paradise, Louisiana is brought to you by Circle K. Taking it easy, Louisiana State Parks. Follow your outside voice to our parks and historic sites. Farm Bureau Insurance. Demco, your touchstone energy cooperative. Baton Rouge Coca-Cola Bottling Company. Benny's Car Wash and Oil Change. Louisiana Fish Fry Products. Veterans Health Foundation. And by CCA Louisiana and the CCA Louisiana Star Tournament. Welcome to this week's edition of Paradise, Louisiana. Here we are again. Gonzalez, hey. Louisiana, Bedroom. Good morning. Hey, Bernie. How you doing? Hey, look, good morning, I heard y'all. we had some really great news coming up, but yeah, besides Gary, the good food. Gary's always hungry. That's yeah, what, but that ain't the good news we're talking about. Yeah, Y'all then sprung uh, up another location on us. We did. We opened another location this past week. We opened up in Sulphur, Louisiana on Monday. And uh, we've been there for a week. It's going very well. We're at 303 South City Service Highway, uh, right off the interstate. And you right where everything is happening down there, so I'm sure y'all gonna be just slammed. We're working hard at it. The people are really good. We've got a really good staff, and it's going well for the first time. You know, it's kind of cute. We were sitting there talking earlier. He said, well, I told Mooney we're gonna have 50 of these. And he said, I called him, I said, oh, we only got 40 something left to go. And Mooney was like, Man, what you talking about? You're going to drive me crazy. Tell me where the latest, the, the next opening y'all working on, the next three opening. Uh, we're working on Germantown, Tennessee, and Muscle Shoals, Alabama. They're working on that okay. right now. We should open up over there in Germantown on March 1st, and Muscle Shoals is going to be around May 1st. Okay, what about... What about North Louisiana? Y'all already got one. We've already got Shreveport and Bossier City, but we're we're getting a lot of requests to come to Beaumont or Houston, and I'm going to be going there probably in the next 60 days and trying to find a location. Hey, you know what they say? Load the wagon, let the mule pull it. Guys, you're looking for a neat family tray? Check this Thank out. You, you just can't beat Bajaros. Always home cooking, smoked, fried, baked, stuffed. Get your steaks. And you know home how to do them, but put them on the grill. Already. Hey, this Memorial weekend, we salute our troops. Without what you did, we couldn't do what we do. You're watching Paradise, Louisiana. We're going to be right back with a ton of stuff. Stay tuned for more Paradise, Louisiana. Voted best of Louisiana outdoors three years in a row. Celebrate your mom, dad, or grad with a Benny's gift card. They'll feel loved getting their car cleaned inside or out or getting gas, snacks, the oil changed, and more. Available at any Benny's or Benny'sCarWash.com. There's no better way to cool down this summer than with a delicious thirst-quenching Polar Pop Cup from Circle K. The Polar Pop Cup is the coolest way to beat the heat. Fill your Polar Pop Cup up with the flavors you crave in crushed or cubed ice. Nothing stays cold longer, so you can stay refreshed all day long. Stop in Circle K today for an ice cold Polar Pop Cup. Polar Pop Cup, only at Circle K. Take it easy. Stay tuned for more Paradise, Louisiana. Hey, y'all, it's Sam Barbera. I'm with the Louisiana Wildlife and Fisheries Foundation. The foundation is a nonprofit that raises funds and provides support for the Louisiana Wildlife and Fisheries Department. We assist with numerous projects like Black Bear, Whooping Crane, Bald Eagle, as well as family youth and women's workshops. For all of the information on the foundation, visit LAWFF.org. We need your support to help our wildlife and fisheries. Visit LAWFF.org. Hey, welcome back to Paradise, Louisiana. Gary and I got a really neat experience. I got a chance just to take a network of people. You know, we talk about getting together, and how do you become friends and do business? You go fishing and you go eating. Take a look at just a few of these shots. We had fantastic food Friday night. They went fishing Saturday, came into a full buffet. You know, you got a chance to fish with Danny Ray, which we're gonna show that on the fishing side. It is just amazing. You walk in, you don't know anybody. You walk away 30 hours later, like you know friends. them, you know their family, your friends. Right. And look, I'd rather do business with friends than I would somebody I don't know. Louisiana you know tradition. Why it helps too? 
Why is that? Because there's two people out there, charity started at home. With two people out there bidding on a job, anything you're doing. Louisiana, I'm going to tell you right now, in the entertainment field, hunting and fishing outdoors, is the best legal way you can entertain your clients. And KD, you proved it to me over there. Thank you for inviting me. Well, I, know, I did the fishing, you did the cooking, but you got to go the next day. I got to fish the next had day. four the captains that did a tremendous what, job. What we're trying to do is capture. You call us at www.chefkd.com. We'll rig up everything for you. You tell us what you're trying to accomplish, what manner that you want to treat the people, if it's fishing, if it's duck hunting, whatever it is, we'll put it all together for you to where you can concentrate on just having fun and getting to know your clients. You look so, at our sponsors, so we got another. Catering Cajun, one of the best in the world, any kind of disaster relief. Anything you need in outdoor, we have all the best captains, including you, but we got places from southwest Louisiana all the way to the New Orleans market, North Shore, Lake Pontchartrain, North Louisiana. If you want to go sackle bass fishing, Toledo Bend, you let us know, we can put you with the right people. That's it. And uh, check out just a little bit of this fishing trip. Morning. From Grand Isle, Louisiana. You're watching Paradise, Louisiana. How has been this week? It's been it's awesome. Nice. Been limiting out every day, big trout. We're going to catch some more today. This side, there you go. Hey, it's Captain Danny Ray, Grand Isle. Got about a 13 mile an hour southeasterly flow off the Gulf. Tides coming up all day. I guess what we're gonna do is what's called hiding out on Grand Isle. We're gonna try and hit the back of Dutch Island, the back of Fifi, the back of Grand Terre. Then we're also gonna incorporate cell phone technology to talk to the other guys who may not have the same game plan, but anyway, it's time to go to work. And what company are you with? First and last name? Steve Polito, Shintec. 49 more, boys. We're out of here. <laughs> Below industry standards. <laughs> See the hook you used to cook? I'd say uh, number one kale hook. Yeah. A little bit better. Grand dog gator trout, dude. That's why people come to Grand Isle. Month of May. That's right. Good about Grand Isle, but everything. Everything's a surprise. <laughs> and almost all of them are edible. Not that one. He's a baby. Good. Everybody's like, I want to be a god. Dude, you wake up with performance anxiety every day. You don't have to drive in the traffic, but you got performance anxiety. I sound like a coach in the Southeastern Conference. <laughs> Boys. Get the camera. Well, you got the pass over here and it pushes tide up against this rock wall. And so the bait's all compressed, it makes it easy. It's called optimal foraging. 
Three feet. Starting to get some in there. Yeah, we 25 minutes in, holding like a machine. Awesome size bait shrimp right here. They live a while, you got to get them right under the horn right there. That's just what I need, boss. Got it. Good cat from that, all of them. That's one of them easy keepers. <laughs> that, that remind me of Jay. It's playoff time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm... Kiss, it's amazing how he told you all that bait fish is going to be up in five feet of the rocks, huh? <laughs> amazing. You don't have to be smart, you need to be observant. That's Throw him up in the sun. Some of these trout look hold, hold him in the sun. Hold him in the sun. Yeah. Yeah, That's a pretty yeah. He filled me up. Come on, my God. That's a good one for camera. I'm going to slow down on these little ones. Come on, buddy. Give me one good shot. Why? 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 You clown it. Go ahead. KD. Let's see. You got the chips. You got a salad. A po' boy. And you got one, two, three. Boy, he took care of you. He took care but of you. But he didn't take care of me. Yeah, hey, he got four. Yeah, he got four people. Look at that. Look at that. Air left. Look at that, in the sunlight, boy. Look at that. What do you think about it? I think it's all right. There's a lot of carks on the market, and everybody's got their favorite. This is mine. It's made in Texas. I really like it because of this weight design. It's a half ounce. And this baby flies in the wind, that bullet shape. Distance is everything. Yeah, the guy behind you. Size matters. He's he bringing his own fish in another That's good right. Here we go. I'm rolling, man. You got me on? I got the black cloud breaking it out here at Grand Isle. Right, go ahead. Show me that trout. The ones that know they catch it on voodoo. That's right. Yeah. Two live shrimp ahead of me. 
Good job, Dad. Tim Danny on the camera. That's, That's all right. Beautiful. Turn for the camera. He looked a little bit bigger. Well, when we got here this morning, there was less wind and less tide as the mornings progressed. We looked at that slick that was hugging the jetty. It's no longer on the jetty. It's actually short cut, short cutting its way down to the tip right here. See how far it out now? It's a good 30 yard out. Well, we're behind Grand Terre. And there's been a dredge project, but if you look out here, you can see the old rock wall just barely showing. It, it's underwater, you gotta know where it is. So we're gonna do, uh, hopefully Flipper will leave us alone. The good. Except when you start to put them in the boat. There you go. There you go. Let me get a shot. Yo, oh, come on, get my camera wet. <laughs> there you go. We're getting better. There you go. That's it there. That's right. That's it. I said dairy farmer skill coming out. <laughs> You know you always fry and seafood, different things. One trick that you always need to remember, I'm doing my Cajun crack, which is a bacon wrap shrimp. And you see what I'm doing right now? I'm putting it right on top of paper towel. Do you know why? So it blocks the oil. Do you see the color of the bubbles? The bubbles are nice and clear. That means all that extra moisture that got out of them. So now they're nice and crispy. And can I tell you? Gary came in hungry, we gonna get him where he's not hungry. And that's before dinner. You wanna know why it's paradise in Louisiana? We have food, we have fellowship, we go fishing, we build relationships. We don't just happen to run across each other. We make plans to share the outdoors, share the culture, share the food. Well, we share the food after the fishing, but check this out. This is just a snack when we come back from fishing, Louisiana style. Mm -mm. Don't tell KD. I can't wait to all the people get here. I was busy shooting camera in the boat. I'm fine with it. Look at that. What are you having? What on? Live shrimp, I caught them right here behind the island. That water's muddy up north, muddy on the beach, we went right behind the island. Live shrimp from Bridgeside, got some pretty live shrimp. Yeah, I'm done. What's that, man? That's a gorilla. That's a bit, that's a gorilla. That's a gorilla right got, there, partner. You got a little bucket full? Oh, we got a little bucket full, a little wind, a little wind that messed us up, but we got us a little, got a little fit. Yeah, 
from jail. This is one of the big guys. You guys, you have put on quite a uh, quite a show today, and we really appreciate the opportunity to come out here and fish in southern Louisiana, and especially Grand Isle. It's just been an awesome day. We just uh, can't believe it. I brought a bunch of clients out here. They're having a time of their own. Thank you so much. Thanks to Katie. K Katie, thank you. You, you are awesome. The perfect event calls for the perfect spread of authentic Cajun cuisine. And Catering Cajun has the planners, packages, and chefs to ensure your event is long remembered. For weddings, corporate lunches, or anything in between, give us a call. Berkeley Powerbait Max Set. Outfish's original power bait by 45%. Disperses a supercharged scent field that attracts more fish and triggers more strikes. Powerbait Max Set. Fish bite and won't let go. There's no better way to cool down this summer than with a delicious thirst quenching Polar Pop Cup from Circle K. The Polar Pop Cup is the coolest way to beat the heat. Fill your Polar Pop Cup up with the flavors you crave in crushed or cubed ice. Nothing stays cold longer, so you can stay refreshed all day long. Stop in Circle K today for an ice-cold Polar Pop Cup. Polar Pop Cup, only at Circle K. Take it easy. Hey, welcome back to Paradise, Louisiana. Look, we could take this whole hour just on tournament reports. Uh, Jim and Cindy Bro with their Junior Southwest Bass Masters out of Denver Springs, had their tournament. Let me tell you something. I don't know how many tournaments they had on Lake Verrett, but they had enough of them. Five to eight, 18 year old group. We had a 9.09 group for Hanson Cheney and Walker, first place. Connor Rushing from Pride at five bass, 822nd. Third was Austin Mathern and Walker, 532. 11 to 14 year old age group. Josiah Shockley, 1037. Jackson Landry, 814. Gage Collins, 7.3. Big Bass was Caden Ricker from St. Francisville, 70 10 year old group. Blake LeRae, 5.59. Jack Bernada, 3.74. Noah Roblin, 2.75. Big Bass, Blake LeRae with a 1.61. The adult division, now they're fishing with the kids, so they kind of lop this in together. You got Bruce Shockley from Hammond at 10.37. Roy Bourgeois from Gonzales, 9.76. John Cheney from Walker, 9.09. I've been wanting to do this for 15 years. Uh -oh. Correct somebody with me. That's Vorna though, that's not Banana. Oh, I said Banana. <laughs> Vorna though, okay. Vorna though, that's Jack Vorna though. And, uh, and, and again, to get the adults a shout out, for a long time we never even missed an adult's name. But let me tell you what, ever since I went to that the, the state championship and I watch all them parents out there. These guys taking their time. These ain't all just the parents, but it's the elder, this is the captain of them boats that take these 11 and 12 year old kids. Uh, they need to be praised every time. And let me tell you something, the tournament directors, Jim and Cindy, Gene and Joan Hoover, it takes a lot and all the other guys that volunteer. Let me tell you something, what, what was it, 100 and, right at 200 boats, right. two kids and an adult. That totals up to right at 700 people launching, weighing in, and organizing. And look, you were there. You said get in you had, touch with them. Get in touch with them and join. If you're not your high school or even in your area, you can put all the high schools together and go from your area. You get in touch with Jim Bro and Cindy Bro or Hoover and uh, now, and go ahead and do it. Big now, bass for the event was David Neems with 354. We had the media bass singles also on the Lake Verrett. Got one of your old regulars here. Another one of them couch guys, Willie Couch the third, 13.90. Dustin Williamson, 13.84. That's six hundredths of a pound. That's mighty close. Shane Edwards, 12-1. Jimmy Sylvester, 11.48. Glenn Red, 1113. When I tell you they're running close, they're running close. I had the pleasure, and you can check out a little bit of this video, the first annual. United Way, Chalmette Refining. I get to correct him again. Inaugural. 
Go ahead. There ain't no first answer. Listen to Joe McAloose and Don. They correct me. Now I know where he's learning his intelligence <laughs> level. Right. I love you. They I love raised you. over thirty-five thousand dollars, over three hundred fishermen. We had the honor in our boat. Landon Nash won two trophies. He had big sheep head and he had third place speckled trout. Check out the trophies. We got to get this guy's contact. Some of the prettiest trophies I ever saw on artists from down in Chalmette made me. Also, Captain Gene Hoover is also got his guy number one redfish. But Jerry, tell me just what this is for and what's in the Yeah, this is our first annual fundraiser, fishing rodeo for the United Way. Uh, Chalmette Refinery, BDF, uh, we've been doing, working with the uh, United Way for many, many years. And this is the first year we've done a fishing rodeo. We're just really trying to raise money. Well, and, and the thing about it, you raise awareness. And we're, uh, we, we should do bad moves, you know, being from that side. It's been amazing what we see happening in Elizabeth. I know that you see so many families impacted. My family has been impacted probably in eight or ten different ways just before you get out of my opinion. Maybe, you know, this, the thing is, instead of picking a charity, you, put, you pick a very responsible group of managers create awareness. So I hope this helps by earning out of here. We just got people doing what we like to do in Louisiana. Fish, eat, and have a good time. And family. Have fun. And raise money. <laughs> <laughs> we know, I thought women like to spend money. Oh, not today. Not today. Thank you, Elizabeth. Thank you. And I would like to just personally thank um, Sean Matter Friday because they do, this is among the many things that they do for United Way and they're one of our top ten, top five largest fundraising companies in the entire Southeast Louisiana okay, so region. Where are you from? Um, I'm from New Orleans, Louisiana, but we cover seven parishes and uh, Shalmeter finding of all seven parishes. Wait, wait, I'm going to turn up a yeah, just like Oh, that. no, <laughs> no. But yeah, they're the top five, one of the largest fundraising organizations in the entire seven parishes we serve. So we're and they so challenge them. everybody behind them. Exactly. Come on, catch up. Yes. You're watching exactly. Paradise, Louisiana. We're down here at Blackie Campos, Campos Marina. We love you. We'll see you in a minute. I had one of the worst days fishing I probably had in five to you, ten you years. You know, they went on all over. From the great weekend we had the week before, all over, and them captains, they struggled. They caught fish. You know, captains are going to catch fish. They're going to run. They're going to catch fish. But nowhere near what did. And the redfish, and even the, the other fish you hear more about in the fish report, they just ran small. Well, you the know, was tough. Friday night, that storm hit New Orleans, and it literally dumped four to eight inches of rain. But all that wind and rain and all, when it hit Delacro, man, it was just devastating. We did this again, just like at Grand Dollar. We went down with the Smith Tank and Steel Group, and we just enjoyed fellowship, meeting each other. I fished with three generations in a boat. Gary, it may have been the worst day of fishing in a long time, but it's the best time I had in a long time. Welcome to Sweetwater Arena. I know y'all seen Captain Jack enough. It's kind of getting to that time, right before Memorial Weekend. What's the fish doing? Uh, you know, lately this week we've been having this west wind kicking our butts. But uh, prior to the west wind kicking our butts, the fish has been pretty good. Even today, they had some people came in with, you know, the guys that fish here regularly had some nice trout and stuff. But, you know, any 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 place you go, you're fishing in a west wind, it's, def it's difficult. But, you know, you told me in the afternoon they got a lot of diving birds. I hadn't seen hardly any birds. I seen them on the water in the morning on the incoming tide. But when that tide turns, what, about 1.30, 2 o'clock? No, I'll even, you, you're still wasting time. You need to get out there the last hour and a half before the sun sets, it's on. And all our Lake Campo, Paso Caballo, Four Horse Lake, Round Lake, you see the birds pull in and they all keep a trout. Well, God bless you. But look, we don't want to get too old. We got more on the fishing report. Oh, no, we got but the old tournament. We got the ABC tournament, too. I was coming to us, Saltwater. Go ahead, let's go to the old timers. Old right timers, now. all right. First thing, thank you, Wayne Tucker, Dub Noel. You got to do a special shout oh, out. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, my boy. I'm telling you, what George Shaheen, he used to do the Pro Bass Challenge. Right. His uh, Jones Creek Cafe. They tell me, be sure and thank him, all the trimmings, all the people we eat. And KD, for years, there's the jambalaya, and y'all would always include everybody. You bring the best. I used to be there late and get the bottom of the pot. You saved it from You're me, but, right there, man. but them guys, let me tell you what, 94 degrees, these guys, specials, one of the specials, before I say anything else, you and I are supposed Almost to take it. Almost 94. 
Yeah, he's, 90, he's over 90 years old. Had 92. two strokes last year. Tony and Latina. And he's still fishing. Mr. Tony Latina, the Italian stallion from Donaldsonville. Look, he, he's an amazing hey, man. another old timer. Donald Bro had the biggest bass. I know, but, uh, and, and by the way, this is the first year. Everybody want to say a little prayer. From Popeye Nugent. Popeye Nugent right now is a nursing home. But if he wouldn't have been, he would have been there. 94 degrees, 65 boats. The 62 boats, I don't know, not boats, excuse me, people. People. Put their money up on a Friday. It was postponed because of high water. And look, this way it in at noon. Give me so, some total. Okay, so Josh Cavona took first place with 898. That's three fish. Three too, fish. By the way. Steve Fontana, Raymond Nat, 801. My old partner, John Hutchison, John Stevens, 772. Ed Burns and Neil Landry, 713. Brad Bowie, 705. So, well, you know, Gary Krause sent me a picture, some pictures that he took because Joe, Joe was there that night before and he, Joe was having a little trouble with his eyes. That's another one. You know, Joe is still writing with the paper. He's, not, he's more of an assignment person. He ain't, he, he's supposed to be retired. That man has donated so much of his extra time to fishing and reports in Louisiana. That is why he's in the Hall of Fame. Well, can I tell you, I don't know what we do without Joe's reports in the Advocate. Because for a little everywhere. while it wasn't there, it wasn't the same. Joe, from my heart, thank you so much. You just have a way of saying everything and making it come out right. We had another. We don't have all of the report as far as every detail. Gary Krause in his pictures, by the way. He, he was in the money. He was showing his money. <laughs> he was showing his money. He in the money. Booby Chiefs Memorial, Chuck Ballard, and Brad Bowie had over 14 pounds. That was another tournament. We don't have all of the results on that. But you know what? We're going to take a break. We're going to be right back. Gary's chewing at the bit because he's got the two big bars coming at you. Y'all stay tuned. We'll be right back. My neighbor Tony, he looked at me and said, man, you're crazy. You're about to leave out in this weather. And I said, sir, I have a tag fish to go get you. I won this beautiful boat catching a tag redfish in Venice, Louisiana. There's 100 redfish waiting. It all starts Memorial Day weekend. Sign up today. I'm Brandon Holly with the link window. Stay tuned for more Paradise, Louisiana. Celebrate your mom, dad, or grad with a Benny's gift card. They'll feel loved getting their car cleaned inside or out or getting gas, snacks, their oil changed, and more. Available at any Benny's or Benny'sCarWash.com. In Louisiana, our state parks are the perfect family destination. With nearly 180 miles of trails through park grounds and historic sites, you can endlessly explore nature, try some kayaking or world-class fishing, then find the perfect campsite or settle into a cozy cabin. Louisiana is calling and she's using her outside voice. Plan your escape today at www.lastateparks.com. And you're watching Paradise, Louisiana. The perfect event calls for the perfect spread of authentic Cajun cuisine. And Catering Cajun has the planners, packages, and chefs to ensure your event is long remembered. For weddings, corporate lunches, or anything in between, give us a call. Okay, Brett, safety and car insurance. Never scored a safety. That's defense. But go on, please. Uh, yeah, defensive. That, that's exactly how you should drive. Well, there's no such thing as a defensive drive. Offense makes the drive. Oh, I, I mean when you're on the road. But it doesn't matter, home or away. <sighs> okay, clearly I'm striking out here. Um... That's baseball. Get great auto rates from Farm Bureau Insurance. Call your agent today. Welcome back to Paradise, Louisiana. I got a few of mine out, but Gary, you had some of the big boys. And look, this weekend, CCA, the big, big one is going star. But tell us about a couple of yours and a Penn State record. Well, ABC been going on for a year. ABC contractors, a lot of people that you do business with, I do business with, my family, uh, our sponsors, H&E. And you look around there, all these people that would do business with us for all these years, they supporting fishing. Fort and ABC, them contractors out there fishing all the time. 
Uh, I got some B-roll, how pretty what they was going. They had a perfect day. Catering, Cajun had and the they food. Ate good, I know that. <laughs> Cajun, Cajun was there. But the unique thing, Tom, it's something different. There, there was, it was a hard time to get some big trout coming in. Tommy Vidreen did it again. Free line and a shrimp. Right? Yeah, him and him and, and one of his one of his clients, they were out there fishing, and uh, they won the three fish limit. They won the, the three speckled trout, or five speckled trout, excuse me. They won the redfish division, and they won the big trout. He had a five seven big trout, by far the biggest trout I've seen on the island all week. Uh, he caught it, free line and shrimp. Another thing that you, you, you see all these people coming in with good size, people that went way offshore, did, did fairly good. You know, when it, it was real bumpy and close, but they went offshore and they did pretty good. But uh, they come in fish. I can't read this. They sent me that, and I, I, you saw it. We, I, I couldn't hardly it figure it out. You blew it up. They sent the reports, but the name everybody. But the outstanding thing, a pending state bonita. Dennis Marler is fishing in a, in, a, in a boat with one, one of the young captains, and they had a bonita that is a pending state yeah, record. I did. I'm Captain Keenan Dickey. This is Mr. Dennis Marler. We're here at the ABC Fishing Rodeo in Grand Isle, Louisiana. Uh, Mr. Dennis Marler set, set the state record for bonita yesterday, 16.1 pounds, smashing it by a pound and a half. Also, we also took a uh, second place five trout stringer, Second place, big trout, and a second place dolphin as well. So we had a good trip from McGinnis Construction Fishing Team. You watching Paradise, Louisiana? While you were at Grand Isle, another biggie. Hey, started off with Coach Stan Brock and one of my loves of my life as a buddy, Hokey Gajon. Because I mean, Hokey, God bless you so. Can't wait to fish with you in heaven. But they did this at Bridgeside's Wakeside Marina. Give us a little spiel on what happened. Right. You know I do with all that catering. Started Thursday night. Go from you, Lake you were Charles where they were eating? Imagine you know that. I'm going to be where they <laughs> eat. At Wakeside, they had the tent right across the street, Bridgeside. Them chefs from New Orleans, LaBello. What's the, what's the guy's name, Red Joe? He got the what? How you say it? Zia's all the restaurants? Zia. Zia. He was there. He was one of the MCs with Stan during this whole time, the whole three days I was there. The food was outstanding, number one. Hokie's brothers were there. The honor Hokie. Hokie's brother, Robert. God John family, pretty good cooking, too. Now, what did we just say? What better way to make friends and do life than fish? The I just want to rub elbows with you all You want to rub them. elbows? You want to, yeah, I you want to rub, rub elbows. Some a little bit of fork time, too. You know I'm going to get to eat, but I want to rub elbows with all those guys. And if you want to, if you want to meet some of the nicest people and hear the best stories, Bobby Abair, the holy court, the night, you know, before the fishing tournament, Friday night, he was just holding court. He was repeating about the Abair being the number one Cajun name. Uh, he's real popular. He, you know, his personality just stands out. But all of them, all these guys, I'm telling you about good shape. Steve Court, he looked like he could play right now. He got muscles in his in his neck and his eyebrows. I'm telling you, he is a big guy. She he's got all like She had me nervous. Oh, he was unbelievable. But look, all I'm going to tell you is this. Let's go and watch this. I spent three days, and Chris, we're gonna try to show you as much as we can. Black and gold, be there next year. If you like being around and hearing these stories and watching these people enjoying themselves and giving honors, but the main thing, guess what it's for? The Green Beret, a lot of soldiers. We had a lot of veterans there. They raised a lot of money. They're drawing Saints paraphernalia, just Unbelievable bunch of things in the tent. You could walk away there with the best memorabilia well, you ever want. Well, it all started as a tribute to them and Memorial Day. So look, we salute the troops. Check a little bit of the footage out from Garrett this past weekend. I'm Stan Brock, and welcome to the 10th annual Black and Gold Classic from Grand Isle, Louisiana. Stay tuned. More on Paradise, Louisiana. Uh, Max Unger, uh, let's see, 2015 hey, to current. Stanley. My name is Zach Streif, offensive tackle with the New Orleans Saints from 2006 oh, to 2018. 
12 year career. Dave LaFari with the New Orleans Saints from 1977 to 1986. My name's John Stinchcomb. I was with the Saints from 2003 to 2011. Yeah, yeah, baby. Hi, my name's Todd Bender, 24 time world champion, here with Sandbrock's Black and Gold Classic, just uh, shooting some plays on the beach. Andy Doris. 1973, 1970. Bob Stein, eight years in the leagues, 1976 with the Saints when Hank Stram first got the job. I'm Dan Pastorini, born in San Francisco, California. Uh, my dad was a butcher and a meat packer in the early days and played baseball with Joe DiMaggio and Lefty O'Doul in San Francisco. Had an opportunity to go with the Yankees, but my grandmother wouldn't allow him to do it. And I think if he'd have gone to the Yankees that time, people might not have heard of Yogi Berra. I'm not sure about that, but Yogi's a pretty good player. Uh, but I'm here to support Black and Gold. Uh, Stan's a good buddy of mine, and we're all good friends here. And it's good. It's like all home week. We get here, and we have a lot of fun. Pull. Cool. Steve Court from 1983 to 1991. My, my name is Jeff Hubler with Benelli USA. I'm here with the Black and Gold. Support the Green Bray Foundation. Support the Black and Gold Foundation. All the Saints alumni. Happy to be here representing Benelli. Our new Super Black Eagle 3 is our new flagship gun. Came out last year. Is an unbelievable, just won the Golden Bullseye Award again this year. Jason Minky with Riley Manufacturing. I've met it. And here at Grand Isle having a great time. Tell me what's new from Bradley. Uh, well, one of our new things are actually our ski machines that we've been building for a few years now. Uh, we got a lot of mag extensions. We have new choke lines coming out all the time. Well, it was funny. Tell me about the gun donated. The gun we've donated is uh, black and gold, and it's for the auction tonight. Try to raise money for our fallen soldiers. Oh. Offensive guard, 1986, 87, 88. Hey, Colin Mooney, formerly with the Tennessee Titans and a uh, yeah, veteran with the U.S. Army, and I love coming to the Black and Gold. John Tice, tight end, 1983 to 1992. Rich Marty, 1977 and 1983. Grand Isle, everybody having a good time? Yeah. Can I take y'all back to 1990? Yeah. Some of y'all might have been here. Some of y'all might have not been here. But this was a big Grammy Award winning song in 1990. And if you don't remember this song, and you're from Louisiana, you got a hole in your soul. Because if you don't remember this song, it went a little something like this. Hey, we've been fishing together for years as you watch the show, but I got my captain's license. I'm ready to take you out to share the kind of experience that I grew up with my family having. Give me a holler, ChefKD.com. Don't tell nobody, but we gonna cook and eat pretty good on board. See you soon. The best part about being a member of a Touchstone Energy Cooperative is that it's your Touchstone Energy Cooperative. That's the power of your co-op membership. Demco, your Touchstone Energy Cooperative. 
ask me about my Tempur-Pedic. Ask me how fast I fall asleep. Why not talk to someone who's sleeping on the most highly recommended bed in America? Ask me about staying asleep. Tempur-Pedic owners are more satisfied than owners of any traditional mattress brand. Ask me how it feels after 10 years. Tempur-Pedic, the most highly recommended bed in America. Ask about Tempur-Pedic at Olin's, where you know you always get the guaranteed low price. Olin's is the only store in Baton Rouge and Lafayette with the full line of Tempur-Pedics. For generations, anglers from across the globe have put their trust in Abu Garcia because out here on the water, we know our science is your religion. Fish like a fanatic with the latest generation of Revo, featuring up to 24 pounds of max drag, designed for leverage and power, built on corrosion resistance and comfort. World-class adventure awaits with Revo. Abu Garcia for life. Welcome to Abu Garcia Berkeley Fishing Report. And uh, KD, it's you know, I almost thought with salt water, but I, I, we, we go back to, this is a fishing report. This is offshore, everybody been wanting to know offshore. But I, I'm gonna tell you right now, I also got a, a big tournament report and the Orange Beach, the Orange Beach Bill Fish Classic or whatever they want to call it over there. The first place from our friends, John and Marty Inquest. First place, yellowfin tuna, 1.64. One. Wait, wait, wait. I got to correct you now. Hot dog, watch that. It ain't 1.64. It's 164. 164.6. <laughs> they want to congratulate to them. Also, I deserve that. Don't get me wrong. And then Josh Gosling from Homer, the done deal, 740. 740.6 blue marlin. That boat is owned by LaBeouf Toyn and Homer. Uh, that's a big tournament. Hey, them Louisiana that's boys got money. their attention, can I well, tell you? I tell you what, they go to Orange Beach, they do a lot of them. A lot of them will bring back the money over there, and that's a big money tournament. And uh, and by the way, if you saw last week, John and Marty, 20-something years they do with those kids from St. Jude and that Dream Day Foundation is just uh, unbelievable. It just grows more and more every year. Uh, and we, we had some saltwater fish. My, my good friends, Mr. Warren and Henry Anna Dupree, when I was there, they were getting bait, and they were also getting their, their favorite, the little plastics, and they were at bedside, and they were going to go fish the pier. Guess what? He sent me a picture before I even got home. I got it. He had 36 channel mullet. Now, if you ain't never ate a channel mullet, it looked like a croaker. Uh, in I between is one of the best to eating fish you can get. That's My started. daddy would always tell, don't you throw that brown fish back. That's the best eating. Uh -huh. and hey, when you get around Alabama, they smoke those brown oh, mullet. They do. Man, Cook I'm them telling all you, kind that's of hard way. to beat. Yeah, they got another name for them over there. They were using dead shrimp on the bottom. They also were catching a few redfish. The white trout are starting to move in. There's a lot of fish being caught off the bridges. But that wind, every time I'm in there, you know, I try to walk the bridge or see them in the surf. And the uh, surf's about to get hot, too. I saw a few people crabbing. Boy, did you see the limit that uh, Herc posted the other day? Yeah. Man, but, uh, when you get in front of the islands right now, it's game on. When you can get in front of the islands. That's Everybody it. wants to go there, fish the barges from Fushan, Elmer's Island, all the way up to the, you know, to the east. To the past. You know, going over there to Fulby and everywhere you're going right now. Live shrimp is still the best one. I've seen people catch them on croaker. Carolina rod, you can fish in croaker. Y'all you, caught them on both. And yep. you see right there with, with Danny, the live shrimp was the top, top water bite about to come, you know. Well, check out this picture John Bernard said of John Clare, 12 years old, just a little bit up the bayou. His first ever redfish he caught in Leeville with a popping cork and a copper homena, fishing with his grandfather Antonio. Another generational fishing trip that just brings back memories. I'm going to give you another picture. Tommy Vidrine at first place ABC at Freeline and Shrimp off the rocks over there. Uh, let me, it's let been, me talk, it's about, been let me talk about Big Lake and Hackberry. Those people were ready. It's hit and miss. There's people have been catching fish. I was so excited. You will, well, you'll probably see this next week. But I was so excited I couldn't go to sleep at night. We had a good meal. Yeah, my, my, my good friend he cooked us what he called a pot pie made with speckle bellies. Now, 
Mr. J. Thomas, he's also got coastal. So that's where we're fishing. You'll see more of this, I'm teasing it right now. But I couldn't go to sleep because the captain, he, Matt Griffin said, my brother called in that. He called in right that night while we were eating. He says, I'm fishing, I'm just leaving. He had two over five on top water oh. off a of beach. So naturally we went there first, but the west wind blew. When the west wind blows there in Delacro, you forget about it. Well, you ever, you ever notice when you get a little thunderstorm and a couple black clouds, you get a lot of wind? You ever thought about that, that wind might follow the black cloud? I don't know that, but they still <laughs> catch fish, and the, and the sun was shining. But that west wind, it, it, it kill you. I didn't realize. I know my brother's pier is bad, but he ran north, and he found fish, no, okay? Yeah. But know you know they, what they say in Delacro, you fish there all the time. <laughs> west wind ain't good for nothing. Well, you you're know, not, I went, not even sitting drinking beer. I made a whole charter anchored on one point four days before we went out Saturday morning, I caught one hard hit on that point. Same tide, same condition. You look, fish, they're going to move. The weather roughs up that water and gets it muddy. And right now with that Mardi Gras cut pouring in, you got a lot of fresh water. You got a heavy wind pushing that fresh water. We're sitting there saw water fishing, cast around lilies. Water hazards. Oh, yeah, that happens a lot with hot water, especially the river. And they're opening them locks. Let me tell you another thing about, about the big lake, you know. Them, that's the smallest redfish I've ever seen. We must have caught 30 redfish that didn't measure. 30 fish. We had about seven fish that made, and they made it by a quarter of an ounce. So that's it. And then we caught, you can catch the seaped the same way. Then when I was in Grand Isle, it was the same thing. We were having a hard time getting the redfish, to, and that's the bull red. Bull you know, somebody mentioned by. that two things. When you had all those really two heavy freezes, we probably had quite a few fish that might have died in the marsh. And you know, we had two jubilees where all those fish, a lot of them migrated in the canal by the road because it was a little bit warmer. Well, if you went to Delacroix, there's a hundred and something anglers lined up, everybody wearing out the, the redfish on the side of the road. So I think they kind of knocked that population down. Let me get this thing over with quick. You were talking about the Delacroix. I'm getting reports from Phil Pontchartrain and I'm getting, we got Lake Bourne. Yep. People are catching the few on the rig. Chas got a post on the, on Dockside TV. Uh, they're using a Rucker rig. It's similar to it's in between a drop shot and a, and a Carolina Correct. rig. And they show you how to use it. You can go check them out. Uh, KD, you know Grand Isle is, is they there. Yep. It's just there, just just waiting out, getting the wind right and fishing. Live shrimp. All the places got live shrimp. You don't have no trouble finding bait. Crocus, whatever you need to do. And uh, and offshore, all the reaper we're catching, mangrove, they can't get through the snapper. Snapper season open up at the end of this week. Look, I'm going to tell you what. Another thing. We had so many mangroves that were 11 inches, get to 12 inches. Uh, and they, they caught enough to eat. They caught two lemon fish. And then uh, I'll show you some of that next week. I you was, know, a lot I of was with the go days. Uh, the go day boat. Man, oh, Clint, uh, Clint they make an amazing boat. They okay. really do. All right, what you got? How about some fresh water? Mike McMullen caught over 500 brim. Check out a few of these pictures. In Blind River, not quite too sure of exactly where he was at, but what he was doing when he found them, they were bedding up all on live crickets. Yeah. How about Peyton Pruitt? Check a look at this hammer. I mean, he caught this bass. He's on the Denham Springs High School bass team. This bass just made his day. Beautiful fish, I think it made all his friends, his godmother, his yeah. godfather, it made everybody's day now, to see I'm that. I'm getting some boy. great reports of Sokolay fishing around Bob Pinch and all, down you know, below Bob Black, and uh, they catch some really pretty. John Tarplay and they went. He only had 20, but they were all over three quarters of a pound. Last year at this time, it was like five or six weeks, they really caught some beautiful soccer I've been waiting on Slade Abad to send me something too. I'm thinking he ain't got quiet over there because in Bassman we didn't catch a we didn't catch a boat load, but we caught some. But they yeah. are getting soccer It's just so fishing. don't forget to lead a bend right now. There are people that catch them under the bridge, all the grass type, all the guys are going out in those party barges and everything. Okay. They all catching fish. And let me tell you what, that's one of the better trips talking about entertaining. You go over there, they clean your fish, you get on that party board, you got the camaraderie, you have a good time talking and shooting the bull, 
You ain't got to worry about where they at. You ain't got to worry about bait. They got everything. And it, I'm telling you, it ain't much over 50. I ain't talking about lodging. But it ain't much if you got five or ten people. It ain't much over it ain't much over $50 a, well, a person. Well, let me, let me give you another heads up. Guys, you're heading out this weekend for Memorial Weekend. Make sure you watch the sunscreen, you watch your hydration, and the gnats. The gnats are coming out right now. When I tell you, you better be prepared. Uh, I've heard a lot of this works. I know Swamp Swatter works. Uh, there's an off with a uh, skin so soft and a sunscreen that the deer flies work for my brother and I when we went out. Because those deer flies, they got teeth like this. Don't wear short them. pants. Okay, they you pretty late. Look, you want to hydrate? That's better. They got zero type. They got everything. That, them, them power drinks are better than water. I Anything you're going. It's got the hot. But you know what? We're going to have a whole lot more next week to talk well, about. Because everybody is pumped up right, for these gonna, tournaments. We're going to bring them some of the, Next week, I hope. If you had not right. signed up for CCA, sign up. We don't want to say coulda, woulda next week when you catch that tag redfish and you miss out on a brand new truck. Right? That's you right. We don't want to say coulda, woulda. You remember a long time ago we did a commercial for them? Yep. Say, don't be, don't be stupid. Don't be a you couillon. Don't be couillon. Don't forget. Don't be a couillon. Sign uh, yeah. up today. Don't forget, hydrate. Hydrate. And uh, you didn't mention us a time. And they ain't on sponsor, but I still ain't never found better than Ultra Fine, their cream. Yep. That but works. Not. Hey, look, if you can figure out how to tell your old lady you're going down to Victoria's Secret and buying that uh, Amber Romance, it works pretty good on those nights, too. But tell her before you put it on there. Gary, I think we about wrapped it up for the week. You got anything else? Wrap it up. Hey, guys, we love you. You see somebody you know served in the service, you reach out, tell them thank you. Take time to make a difference and say things to people. Don't always focus on the negative, focus on the positive. This is Paradise, Louisiana. God gave it to us. Take care of it. Bring more trash back home with you than you took out. And I'm not talking about people, I'm talking about litter. Don't litter these beautiful waterways. God bless you. Check out our state parks. Come on now, we got the best state parks going. We'll see you next week with a bunch of new reports, and we want to see somebody win that truck. Paradise, Louisiana is brought to you by Circle K. Taking it easy, Louisiana State Parks. Follow your outside voice to our parks and historic sites. Farm Bureau Insurance. Demco, your touchstone energy cooperative. Baton Rouge Coca-Cola Bottling Company. Benny's Car Wash and Oil Change. Louisiana Fish Fry Products. Veterans Health Foundation. And by CCA Louisiana and the CCA Louisiana Star Tournament.